Hey guys, and welcome back. Uh, today we're gonna cause some destruction of the voxels from our ammunition. So uh, we're gonna start with pulling up the blueprint of our rocket launcher ammo. And this would be easy to do with um, any ammo blueprint. We're gonna go to the part where we're, we're spawning the particles, playing a sound and destroying the actor. And before we destroy the actor, we're gonna add in a little bit more. So let's go ahead and break that line. And the first thing we're gonna do is get all actors of class. We're gonna select the voxel world class. And then we're going to take the output of the actors and we're gonna get the first result. In our situation, we only have one voxel world, so this should um, do what we need. So then we're gonna use one of the voxel functions and we're gonna do remove sphere async. We're gonna plug in our voxel world. We're gonna get the position from the impact point of where our projectile hit. For the radius, I'm gonna promote this to a variable. And I'm gonna call this uh, voxel damage. And that number is gonna control how large our damage is. I'm gonna compile and set a default value for it. For now, why don't we put uh, Let's put 400. That can be adjusted later. And then we're gonna output to destroy the actor again. I'm gonna comment this section and do this as destroy voxels. All right, so we'll compile and save that. Now let's go ahead and play. So now as we land, um, our pistol still doesn't do any damage, but when we switch to our rocket launcher, see it created this large hole in the ground. This hole is probably a little bit bigger than we want it to be, uh, but we could size that down. Same effect on the building. You can see the sphere that it had removed. So let's go ahead and size that down to something that's maybe a little more reasonable for that weapon. Uh, 400, let's maybe do, I don't know, 80. Try that again. And so I got out the rocket launcher. And, uh, there's a bit of damage. It's probably not quite as big as. Like it to be. I'll actually make that a little bit bigger. <clears throat> How about 120? We can make different adjustments with this. The shape of the uh, sphere that it's removing or giving it some more randomness to make it not such a perfect sphere. But um, this is at least showing the, the, the idea of how to encode physics, if we were to uh, blow a hole under this box, hypothetically the box should fall into the ground. We're almost there.
with, uh, I mean, obviously with larger units, quicker, but I'm just trying to prove that if you did make a big enough hole that this would fall in. Um, yeah, so that's how we cause some spherical destruction in our voxels with, um, our, well, really not that hard. Uh, thanks for joining me and, uh, hope to see you next time.